Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Nigerian woman criticizes the Yoruba veteran actress Remy Suutu, whose enemy is Remy Oshuji. The Yoruba movie industry sadly lost the comic legend Babatunde Omidena on Monday, November 22nd this year 2021, just some days ago. And after the sad news was shared, many Yoruba actors and actresses took to the official social media platform to to mourn the veteran actor. However, the veteran Yoruba actress Remy Suutu chose not to tell this part, which instantly ended a backlash from a fan. And this fan slid into a DM direct message on social media to leave her a message, which was to criticize her for not celebrating the legend publicly on her social media platform. However, Remy Suutu did not take this kindly at all as she went ahead to blast this follower. This was the follower's message. Shebaba Sui was a joke to you people, ne? that journalists are posting him to wish him eternal rest before you people. Shame. Responding to this, Remy blasted the follower, saying it is silly to joke about something that one should not joke with. She also said she does not do things for Instagram like, like her colleagues and do not need to post Baba Sui's photo on our official social media platform to show that she is grieving over the heavy loss. Remy then went ahead to warn the follower not to be insensitive about the recent loss. No user to chase clout. Now what? You silly people think you can just lead in, in any celebrity DM to talk trash about something no one should joke around with. It's dumb for you to realize that I don't do things on the gram like others do. I don't need to show publicly that I'm giving as much as I could for such a sad and heavy loss for us. Yet, you're asking me why I couldn't post a dime thing. What a silly question, to live my life for you, or do I run my page for you? Don't you ever think before you talk, as old as you are getting, be sensitive and not cloud chase with me, shameless people all around. This is surely a great loss to the entire Nigerian entertainment industry. May the soul of the departed continue to rest in peace. For those who may ask who is Baba Sui, or for those who are interested to know about this legend, Please stay with us for so short but interesting biography of the star comic actor Baba Sui. His real name is Baba Sui Omidina, but then he's popularly called Baba Sui. He was born on August 22nd in 1958 in Lagos Island, the same area where he started his acting career. Baba Sui began his acting career while he was in secondary school by joining a group known as the Ushumare Theatre Group. From a major stage play titled Baoku, the group became popular and moved to Lagos Television for their stage plays. While at ATV8, they are gone for a stage play and after the performance, some people walked up to Baba Sui and asked if he was the one in costume that just left the stage. He told them he was the one and they asked if he could perform at their station, which was NTH and a server. In his words, they also invited me to the National Theatre where we used to have 10 minutes performances. We were then told to perform at their station. Their producer then was called Gani Kasumu. They really loved our first performance and we ended up recording 13 episodes of the program. That was how the world got to know about Baba Sui and we became very popular. He has starred in numerous movies over the years and is known for hit movies like Uju Uluju, Baba Londona, Iwereshi, Koton Sibe, Asho Ubura, just to mention a few of them. He has also produced outstanding movies, including Afanla, Ayedu, Baba Jaye Jaye, Baba Londona, Hekumich, Ojuale, Adbifu, and Ujuluju, just to mention a few of them. His health battle was made public in the year 2019, when he was said to be battling with an undisclosed sickness. In 2019, Mr. Latin Setampan had been taking care of the veteran actor's medical bill since 2017. Under the administration of the immediate past president, Dilu Uduli, Baba Sui's illness landed him at Lagos University Teaching Hospital in Atidi, Araba, in Lagos State. And according to Mr. Latin, the development was as a result of the approval of the association's appeal to the federal government to foot the medical bill of the veteran. Mr. Latin said the early veteran comedian was promised first class treatment by the federal government at Lutz. The actor also spent a month in the hospital at Rhode Island near New York, the United States, where he received treatment for complications arising from diabetes and other ailments. At that time, 
Benefactors included Reverend Esther Jai, also known as Yadura, of the Love of Christ Generation Church, Cherubim and Seraphim, who donated 10 million naira to the actor. And Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo, who also donated 1 million naira. Who also donated 1 million naira. Last year, in the year 2020, there were death rumors about the star actor. Last year, in the year 2020, there were death rumors about the star actor which came a day after his 62nd birthday. And his son Adishola at that time dispelled such rumors, stating that his father was used to the death rumors. He has been a major contributor to the entire comic industry of Nigeria and the Yoruba sector of Nollywood. Many people will argue that his predicament started after his arrest by the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency for being in possession, allegedly, in possession of substance suspected to be hard drugs. It was gathered that the veteran comedian, it was gathered that the veteran comic actor was on his way to France, where he was billed to attend the naming ceremony over an Air France staff. However, Baba Sui's health and reputation suffered afterwards. No hard drugs was found on him. He was kept under the investigation of ESCC and observed by the Nigerian Drug Law Enforcement Agency. He excreted several times and no hard drugs was found. And the Lagos High Court ordered that the NDLEA pay Babasui the sum of 25 million naira as a form of compensation for damage to his reputation and also for the emotional distress that was caused. However, even though this was in the year 2011, Babasui made an interview years after where he disclosed it. Since the death of his lawyer, Bamidelia Tool, the case has been practically forgotten. In the interview, he said, I've never gotten a cobble from them. The case has practically been forgotten after my lawyer, Bamidele Aturu, died. Aturu was determined to see the case to a conclusion. When he first took on the case, he called me aside and asked me to confess to him if I really committed the crime. But I affirmed my innocence to him and he believed me. The people close to me knew that I was innocent. I'd never seen cocaine until I got to NDLE office. My job as an actor was enough to take care of all my needs. To this day, lots of people believe I traffic drugs. Meanwhile, I'm totally innocent of the allegations. Now, have come to the end of this episode where Remy Suruti defends herself as a Nigerian woman attacks her for not honoring Baba Suri publicly. And she further explains that she does not do things for public applause.